February 7th, the discipline of dejection. But we trusted, and beside all this, today is the third day. Luke 24, 21. Every fact that the disciples stated was right, but the inferences they drew from those facts were wrong. Anything that savors of dejection spiritually is always wrong. If depression and oppression visit me, I am to blame. God is not, nor is anyone else for that matter. Dejection springs from one of two sources. I have either satisfied a lust or I have not. Lust means I must have it at once. Spiritual lust makes me demand an answer from God instead of seeking God. Who gives the answer? What have I been trusting God would do? And today, the immediate present is the third day, and He has not done it. Therefore, I imagine I am justified in being dejected and in blaming God. Whenever the insistence is on the point that God answers prayer, we are off the track. The meaning of prayer is that we get hold of God, not of the answer. It is impossible to be well physically and to be dejected. Dejection is a sign of sickness, and the same thing is true spiritually. Dejection spiritually is wrong, and we are always to blame for it. We look for visions from heaven, for earthquakes and thunders of God's power. The fact that we are dejected proves that we do. And we never dream that all the time God is in the commonplace things and people around us. If we will do the duty that lies nearest, we shall see Him. One of the most amazing revelations of God comes when we learn that it is in the commonplace things that the deity of Jesus Christ is realized.